Hi folks, I hope everybody's doing good today. Today I'm going to show you one of the knives from my Tuesday teaser. And it's the AG Russell Sunfish. Let's get some light on that. First let me give you guys a little bit of news. Um, things are starting to settle in over here. I thought it would only take like a month after I got out of the hospital. But then that like the holidays popped in. And then um, the insurance changed, finding doctors. Uh, I know on one of the videos I told you I was able to find an insurance that three of the five doctors I have uh, uh, accept. But um, after seeing those doctors or talking with them, uh, even though their names were on the website, uh, two of those three uh, don't take that insurance. So, um, yeah, it, it's been rough trying to get everything transferred over. And, of course, I'm transferring over onto uh, uh, disability. I'm not going to be working anymore. I'm retired. Uh, so, But anyway, I was hoping to get settled in so I could give away some stickers. And I got, like, three knives I want to give away. Uh, do a giveaway plus there's a few knives. I want to send out to a few of you guys out there um, And plus I got um, I got a video that I got to do uh, It's a comparison video that's gonna kind of surprise a lot of you um, It's a Rough Rider Warncliffe Whitler up against a case classic Warncliffe Whitler, and you'll see that a lot of similarities and um, uh, actually a lot of similarities and a lot of dissimilarities, I guess you could say. But anyway, um, me and dear old pops went to the cancer doctor the other day. Oh, here, yeah, let me show you. This is what I was carrying for Pops, or for another trip with Pops, and this is the Russell Barlow, which could have been born, or which could have been made in 1935, the year my father was born, so I figured that would bring good luck when we went to go see the oncologist, so I carried that, along with, of course, yes, the Boker Auto, um, but anyway, here's some of the results that they showed us from what's been going on. Of course, we're going to need a good pointer. Um, I'll let you guys kind of pause this and read this. Basically, the only thing you really need to know is that these numbers here should not be interpreted as absolute evidence of the presence or absence of malignant disease. But you'll see back here when we found the tumor, um, back in August, it was at 10 cm. have no idea what the measurement cm is. Um, and here's the range, 0 for the carbohydrate antigen, 0 to 37. But that's in ml, and these are in cm. So anyway, all we wanted to really do is look for a trend of it going down. I'm not sure if zero means it goes in, uh, the tumor it goes into remission. But all this hard work has been paying off. It was a 10 in August. Uh, in November, after a couple treatments, uh, dropped all the way down to 3.8. And then last month, it's at 2.4. And we're in February, so I'm hoping this is down, you know, I'll take 1.2, knock it in half every time. So, but anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. That progress is being made. Even though I'm feeling very uh, behind on my channel. <laughs> There's, I got a lot of knives I want to show. Um, I know the, the YouTube creators out there, I haven't been able to watch a lot of your guys' stuff. Um... I have seen there's been plenty of plenty of nice knives out there. So I don't know if I'll ever be able to catch up. But um, yeah, I don't know. Things are going good. That's all I can say. 
I wish I could do more videos. I wish I could get a bunch of stickers out right away. And I wish I could do a bunch of giveaways and uh, pass out some knives. But it's all going to come in due time. So be patient. Let's take a look at this, um, this sweet knife. Like I said, this was one I was laying in the hospital and Gizmo, our good friend and subscriber Gizmo Carr, uh, sent me a link to the uh, AG Russell uh, website. And that's only be, um, the bone, the jig bone, colored bone, uh, sold out first, I think. And what happened was they had a bunch of them that were second, factory seconds. And that's what this one is. Um, the, those are all gone. If you go to the website now, you can find one, I think, in G10. Uh, the smooth white bone is gone. Of course, Gizmo, he's got uh, three of them now, I think. I think he's got this one, the smooth white bone, and the G10 version. So maybe those are the only three that were ever made. But um, this is a factory second, so it has a few issues um, in the bone. And we'll take a look at that. But, I mean, you got some beautiful color. And all you really need to know about this knife is it's a lock blade. And it makes a heck of a snap when it clicks into place. And you got this beautiful sunfish blade. Now, the, the, this um, lock lever here is has been milled out. So there's no pin. This pin right here, it's actually um, integral. Um, where it's part of the lock lever. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's move the light in. Integral. I think I said it wrong the first time. <laughs> oh, man. But let's see if we can see in there. See there? There's a space between the two heads of the pin. And normally that's a pin that goes straight through. So that would minimize how thick your blade can be. You know what I'm saying? So when you push this in bottom the edge of the blade is coming up past this pin they're using every centimeter they can to fit this big blade in the handle and it it explains all that if you go on to their website love the badge love the ag russell mark um you'll see it's the 8cr steel made in china But just a gorgeous knife. I mean, monster is actually the word for it. Now, this one took a while to break in. I was actually talking with Gizmo um, <clears throat> for the lock. I was telling him I'm thinking I, I was thinking on sending it back. Um, but at the time, my thumbs were really weak, and I could not. Could not depress it far enough to release the lock. That's how tight it is. But you'll see I got there finally. So there's no issue there. The one issue I do have with it is they were charging, I think, $95 for the G10 version. It was over 100 for the bone versions. But... Um, the factory second was right up at 85 and I didn't expect them to send me one. You'll see this has a crack here. Um, where else? Crack here. Little chip on that one. Go to this side. Oh, there you go. Crack up here. 
and a crack up there. These are almost cracked all the way to the end. So you got a pin crack here, pin crack here, pin crack here, and pin crack here. So this is one I definitely don't want to drop. But at this size, let's move it up here. It's hard, hard to drop. I mean, it fits right in the hand perfectly. Of course, it's got the big hole for the lanyard, which I probably am going to do my first paracord lanyard. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. I usually do them in leather because I've got plenty of leather straps. But I don't know. I might do this one in a paracord. Look at that big sunfish blade. <laughs> it's a monster. That's almost as big as, uh, let's see. It's actually wider. Wider than um, Big John Henry. Just slightly. Look at that. Big John needs a cleaning. And I need to someday change this all up a little bit because I got some other knives I'd like to put up here. Put the stag away someday. But like I said, you know, things I'm almost almost into the situation where I'm feeling comfortable, where everything is um, <clears throat> everything is planned every day, where you're kind of into a re routine. So we're getting there. There you go. Let's take a look at what it looks like um, up against a couple other sunfishes, sunfishies. Put him right in the middle. And of course, I don't have a lot of the patterns, but I do have a couple cool ones to compare it with. And this is the Rough Rider version, and a nice blue bone, and the marbles, which actually, I mean, the bone on this knife here, the color on here, is unmatched with anything I have, I think. And these are both slip joints. The Russell is a lock blade. I do have this little AG Russell lock blade Barlow, which is pretty cool. I picked this up on eBay. It's used. I've used it quite a bit. And it locks in nice and tight. See AG Russell. Same steel. Same China mark. And it's held up pretty good. You see there's no chipping going on there. Bolsters all scratched up. Nice little locking barlow. So we'll put that up there too, just to give you an idea. Let's see, maybe we should move these all up a little bit so my camera will get them in the picture. And, uh,. Gizmo also has one of these and one of these. He sent me a picture with all his AG Russells up against these uh, these sunfish models here, too. So you can see, it's a pretty good shot. I mean, all of them got a little something a little different. The bone on this is spectacular. We'll see. Bone on here. I gave it a little bit of a polish to give it more of a shine because it does. If you guys find one, they'll come um, like a flat, flat, um, no finish on it at all. So you have to buff it out a little bit yourself. Um, I think Gizmo went so far as to clean out each individual jig which would probably help giving it even more of a shine. But there you have it. Until next time, my friends, take care.
Peace. Bye-bye.